Hello. It's good to see you. Today we have this box here. Look at this. It's tape on it. <laughs> this is a box of assorted um, overrun, misprint, what have you, carpenter pencils. If you're not familiar with carpenter pencils, I'm going to show them to you. These are pretty great. I bought two boxes of these on eBay. Um, I can't remember exactly how many are in here, but it's it's quite a few. You can get a lot of carpenter pencils into a box this size. I haven't looked at them yet. I just cut the tape on here. And we're going to look at them together. I'm going to do the other box of pencils um, probably in a whispered video in a, a, at a later date. Let's take the top off this box. Now these are carpenter pencils. They are not sharpened, it looks like, which I figured they would not be. Looks like we have some yellowish green, white, and red here on the top. Of course, as we get down into the box, we could find that we have different pencils further down. So, what do we have here? Carpenter pencils. I'm going to show you a carpenter pencil. Look at this. Now, they are not like regular pencils, which can be, you know, cylindrical or hexagonal. You can see that these are kind of flat. And the lead is different, too. You can have a larger piece of lead in here. And they're also good for measuring a quarter inch and a half inch. And they're good for drawing a straight line. You can put them down like a, a ruler for a straight edge, you know. Of course, you could do that with a regular pencil. But with a carpenter pencil, you could set it down and just hold it. And it, it's a little easier. Plus, one of the main features is that if you're using these in construction or carpentry, if it's flat like this, you can set it down and it's not as likely to roll away as compared to a regular pencil. Now you do, you can't sharpen these in a regular pencil sharpener. You know, it's because, I mean, you know, the way they're shaped. So you would just have to take like a pocket knife or something and whittle, whittle it away to sharpen it. But these are, my dad always had tons of these and I always thought they were super cool and I, I would beg him to let me have one to take to school because I just thought they were cool. <laughs> they don't have erasers either because typically in construction or carpentry you're not writing stuff that needs to be erased. It's probably going to be written on a surface where you couldn't really erase it too thoroughly anyway. So they're just made out of wood just like a, you know, a regular pencil. But the 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 lead in there is shaped differently. It's wider. It's a larger piece of lead. So it's better for, it writes thicker lines. It's easier to read. And you can write on multiple surfaces with this. Okay, so we'll get started looking at this whole box of carpenter pencils. Now we have these here that are sort of a yellowish green and they don't appear to have anything written or printed on them. Ooh, this one's shiny. This one has a nice shiny surface. This one's kind of rough. This one over here compared to this one. This one feels smoother too. I like the sound they make. They do make a nice sound. We have a red one here. Red Barn Builder Supply in South Livingston, Texas. I've been to Texas, but it was many, many years ago, and I was basically, we were on a road trip, my parents and my brother and I, and we basically just passed through Texas. Oh, uh, let's see, here's a white pencil, it's kind of shiny. They're all going to be made the same, you can really see the lead in that one. Do, I do not know how to say this, Deliu, Deliu, Lumber, and part of the the phone number is kind of messed up. 
here's a plain white one. You can see it's like somebody got a hungry and took a little bite out of that one. <laughs> Here is a plain red one. I've noticed that several of these have like little blobs on them. Little blobs. I thought I saw another one like that. But it's, oh, until you can see that the clear finish is not consistent. It's like they dipped it in here and it sort of stopped. We have Wasatch Supply. It's a pretty shiny red print on that one, Wasatch. There's another one. And another red one. Again, it looks like the finish is not consistent on that one either. These were probably done about the same time. Ooh, look at this one. This one's interesting. It looks weathered. It looks like an old part of a, a deck on the back of somebody's house or something. Okay, it's like it had stain on it at some point, but it's very weathered. It's actually very cool. I like the way that looks. Now what is going to happen to these? I, I My older son asked for some, and I'll probably give some to my dad. My dad uses pencils like this a lot. And he knows plenty of people that would love to have some of these, so they're definitely not going to go to waste. We have an orange one here. It just doesn't have anything printed on it. It's got a nice shine to it. It's very pretty. I like it. Here's another one. It's a very nice finish. I don't know why some of these end up in these lots like this. Here is, ooh, that one's very shiny. Here's sort of a reddish, like a, I don't know what you call that, a cherry red, maybe? A nice cherry red. It's kind of a different shade of red compared to, these are the ones that had the little bit on this part, like the finish is not complete. Slightly more of an orange color. Okay, another Wasatch, Wasatch supply. This number is a little messed up, too. Here we have Miko Building Material Incorporated, New York, New York. Got the characters here. 179 Christie Street, New York, New York. Very shiny. It's like a school bus yellow. We have another one of these yellowish greenish ones. And another one. This one doesn't have any finish at all on the end of it. It's very inconsistent. And another one. Yeah, it's like they only dipped part of it in the finish. Just the end down there. This one is from FairbornCement.com. Miami Masonry Cement. Yeah, it's uh, it's almost like it needs another coat of paint. It's kind of like it only has one coat, but it could use a second one. I'm trying to keep them organized. I don't think I'm going to have enough room to do that, but I'm trying. We have another one of these, Miami, FairbornCement.com. Masonry cement pencils. Oh, the end is messed up. Look at that. Here we have Kusa Masonry Cement, National Cement of Vical Company, the cement choice, the cement of choice for building success, National Cement Company of Alabama Incorporated. Huh. Oh, it's blue, like the letters are a interesting, sort of a royal blue color. That's groovy. This one is from Evergreen Lumber. This has a green metallic print uh, since 1939. That's the year my mom was born. And 
Deer Park Lumber Company Incorporated. And the print is a little messed up on that ink. And a phone number. Ooh, the back one, the, this one is all lumpy. <laughs> well, not too bad, but you can kind of see how some of these ended up, you know, in the discard pile. We have another evergreen lumber. And this one, again, it almost looks like some of these could use a second coat of paint. I don't know how many coats they typically put on these pencils, but it's like it got rubbed on something. Hmm. Evergreen, where did I put you? Right there. Oh dear. This one has a bite taken out of it. Look at that. It's got a little notch right there. This one is plain red. Very shiny. Nice finish. Fairly consistent, but somebody got hungry and they took a little bite out of that one. <laughs> Another orange one. The paint is actually kind of chipped right there. It looks a little chipped. And there's a little funky spot right there. It doesn't have anything printed on it. We have Harry's Building Materials, hbmitx.com with an exclamation point. These uh, places, oh, and it's messed up here, you can't even really read that. Rusk, Jacksonville, Troop, and something I can't read because it's all messed up. Yeah, the paint on this one's kind of weird. Oh, we have a navy blue one. Oh, it's... It looks scuffed. Like a lot of these look like they were rubbed up against something and it messed it up and it looks like the finish kind of dripped a little bit like it was upright and it wasn't applied evenly or something. Navy blue. We have another one that's navy blue. Now this kind of looks like that one that was weathered, you know, but not quite as bad. But you have some color here chip out of it there. Sort of uncovered here and down here it's shiny. And another one. This one again looks like it missed half of it there. I would love to see the place where they make these just to see what the process is like. Yeah, it's almost like there's one coat and, they, and then they come back and do a second one. But the second one didn't quite go well. I cannot stack these. Another orange one. I have, I think, four of those now. Ooh, that one's pretty. I like that one. This is Davis Supply of Charleston, and we have a picture of a cinder block on this one. It's white. I don't really see anything wrong with it, except the S right there is a little messed up, and maybe this should have been outlined a little bit more. I don't know. I don't know if it really matters. I like this one because it has kind of a natural look to it. It just has a clear coat. Oh, it's okay. It's a little messed up here. So this is Professional Contractor Supplies. Professional Contractor Supply. They're located in the Bay Area, San Diego. Something for your business. We are here for you. I don't know what, the, what that was supposed to be, but... Okay, so yeah, maybe that one is messed up. We have another one of these De Deliu Lumber, and yeah, I can see why they wouldn't want to send this one. The, you can't read the phone number. And another one of these Kusa Masonry Cement Pencils, National Cement, the cement of choice for building success. There's a little bit of red on it there. And again, it looks kind of scuffed on the ends down there. We 
Where did I put the other one? Right there. We have another one of these HB Harry's Building Materials. Oh, now you can read it. I don't know how to pronounce that. There are several places in North Carolina that are kind of like this. Like, if you don't live there, you're you're not going to know how to pronounce it. And you're just going to butcher the name. Nag, Nakud, Nak. I'm not even going to try it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll say it wrong. So I'm not even going to try. And again, this one almost looks dirty. It looks like it was already out at the job site for a while. It comes pre-scuffed. Here's another one of these kind of cherry red ones. But again, the finish is not uh, consistent. We have this part here that doesn't have that pretty shiny coat of varnish on it. I think so far we have more of those plain red ones than anything else. Part of the reason, though, is we have different shades of red, but they're they're plain. They don't have anything printed on them. Ooh, this one's... Oh, God, that one's really messed up. Look at that. Ooh, <laughs> it's really bad. It's like it got crushed in something. You can see it's kind of splintered right here. It's, yeah. Man, that one got crushed. And then we have this one here. This one looks pretty good. But there's nothing on it. Oh, this one's nice. Here's a yellow one. Brandon's Ink Fasteners for Industry. And it does have a little bit of uh, scuffing going on right there. This print is it's black. It's not like a metallic or anything. Not, not really. Here's another one of these greenish, yellowish looking ones. Right here. It has a nice shine to it. But yeah, oh, you can. Oh, that's actually rough. Right there. Yeah, it's, um, it's almost like chips in the paint somehow. Or something. That's really weird. I don't know. One, two, three, four. Oh wow, I have six of those now. Here's another orange one. It, oh, it feels very rough. All this edge is extremely rough. Goodness gracious, look at that. Wow. I mean, it's, it is noticeable. I wonder how it gets like that. I don't know, that's weird. And it has some rough places up here, too, on this surface. Wow, that's really rough. We have another evergreen lumber. This one has little dents in it, like little, little dents, little tiny dents. And again, it has, it just looks scuffed. And here the color is kind of inconsistent and again it has this bit down here at the end this is like a lifetime supply of carpenter pencils it's like i would never need another another one here's another one i guess it's like that dark blue but it's more of a gray it's a big lump of something stuck to it at the end it's just a big Glob of something right there. Now this one has um, a bit of finish, but it's not as shiny as some. But it only goes to here, and then it stops. And this part looks like it had one coat of the stuff, but that's it. And then whatever that gob of stuff is. No, it's definitely not the same color as these blue ones. Yeah, see, this is more gray or more black, and this is more blue. If you put them side by side, you can definitely see it. So that is something different. Okay. Oh, okay, I figured out the professional contractor supply. 
mystery. So here we have another one of these professional contractor supply pencils. Thank you for your business. Thank you for your business. Oh, it's not the same color though. It's a different shade. So the thank you got completely cut off and here just the T got cut off. Thank you for your business. Here, I guess you just have to guess what they mean. But yeah, they're not the same. They're not the same color finish or whatever. We have another navy blue. Um, this one it looks a little messed up here, like a little bit of the color of the wood shows through. And again, on the ends, it's kind of rough on the very end, but it is nice and shiny. It's pretty. We have another Brannon's ink, fasteners for industry. Oh my, it's very shiny, but it's not, I mean, it's smooth, but it looks rough. It looks very rough on this surface. But I mean, I, and into the, the ink, it doesn't look like it printed exactly like they might have wanted it to. The other one, the other one was the same. It kind of, the ink prints very lightly, the INC period. It's very light compared to the rest of it, and the Y on the end of industry is not great either. I feel like I could do quality control for these carpenter pencil companies. I need to go work for them. You know, one summer I worked for cash under the table at this uh, hosiery mill when I was 14, and part of what I did was quality control for packs of socks. <laughs> I did that eight hours a day, like three days a week all summer for like three dollars an hour. <laughs> yeah, don't tell anybody. I didn't say what company it was. Actually, the hosiery mill is no longer in business, so it doesn't matter. Okay, here we have Marvin's building materials and home centers. But anyway, I had to learn what to look for for quality control for the packs of socks. I got very tired of looking at socks. So this one has this red metallic print and a barcode here, but it's chipped and messed up. Of course, I mean, that's going to happen when you use it anyway. It's from Talladega, Alabama, Marvin's Building Materials and Home Centers. And the back is not great either. Like the color is, the yellow is not even. It looks like it needs another coat of paint. And the end is not consistent either. Okay, I'm running out of space. I'm going to put it down there. We have another one of these Kusa masonry cement pencils. This one is like it's been scraped, like it ran along something and it messed up the print. It does have that pretty blue print though. I do like that. Kusa masonry cement. National cement. The cement of choice for building success in Alabama. So, but yeah, it, it just, a lot of these just look like the layer of paint is not quite thick enough, like they tried to spread it too thin. And so some of the wood kind of shows through. We have another Wasatch supply pencil. It looks dirty. Some of these just look dirty. <laughs> but it's just the paint or the finish. Oh, the back is really bad. feel. And they write. You can't get a fine point. I mean, unless you're very careful sharpening it. Um, but they definitely serve their purpose. We have a plain. No, it's not plain. There's something on it. FSC. Uh, C019096. 100%. Oh, that looks like just the manufacturer of the pencil. I don't think that's a company logo. I would think if you had a company logo, you'd want it more in the middle. So I think that's just from whatever company made the pencil. I wonder if they ever make pencils advertising their pencil making company. 
I totally would. So we have this shine, but again, it look, look, it just look like I was saying, it looks pre-scuffed. <laughs> like you don't have to worry about scuffing it, we'll, we'll deliver it to you already scuffed. I have another orange one here. And it doesn't have anything on it. A little rough on the end there. But not bad looking. Oh well. I now have seven orange ones. I think that's the most of any one pencil. And I see more in here. We have Stone Yard. Oh, it looks like the red kind of bled into the white paint a little bit. I don't even know how that's possible, but it looks like it did a little bit. And we have a phone number down here. See, if it were me, I would want to put the phone number over in the middle. Because it's, if they sharpen it over here, it's going to get sharpened away. I guess you just have to hope they start down here. So again, it has scuffs on the back of the pencil. Stone yard. And it has that pretty red metallic print to it. And another, oh my goodness, somebody bit this one. <laughs> somebody took a chomp out of that one. Look, this looks like it has teeth marks in it. Like a rabid raccoon or something got after it. Good grief. It was like this before it was painted because the paint has settled down into those marks. Gosh, and it didn't get a layer of the clear, shiny stuff. They just got one coat of this paint and that's it. And then they said, ooh, never mind. That's terrible. My goodness. And another navy blue. This one is really messed up down here. But again, I think that's just because it's the initial coat of the color. And then they come back over it again. But it didn't, uh, didn't make it all the way for some reason. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six of these here. From Patette's Home Center in Cleveland. We have a pencil. Guardian Fiberglass. We have the little Guardian Fiberglass logo there. And it's that pretty royal blue print. Metallic. The end is a little scuffy. And right there's a Ooh, a little pockmark in it right there. Patette's Home Center. I've never heard of most of these places. I should get out more. Ooh, this one has the, a glob on it right there. Look at that. You can see it. It's visual. This is another one of those cherry red pencils. But it doesn't have anything on it. The shine is... It's actually shinier on... Well, it seems to be a little shinier on this side. But it has a glob of something on it. Okay. Here is a really rough orange one. Look, oh my god, look at that. Goodness gracious, it's like unfinished lumber. And the paint doesn't even really cover it all on this side. Especially down here. It does not have the clear finish on it. But it is super rough. Good grief. What happened to these pencils? <laughs> it's so incredibly rough right there. That's pretty bad. And we have another red one here. Very shiny. It doesn't have anything printed on it. And a greenish, yellowish one that again doesn't have the varnish on it. I don't think any of these had anything printed on them. That's the seventh one of those. And Davis Supply of Charleston. We have another one of these with the little cinder block on it. It has a dent. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little dent in it right there. And a smaller dent right there. It's not too bad, but yeah, it's, it's kind of dent it a little bit. We'll put it over here with the other one. And a red one that again is only half finished. This part is unfinished. 
Yeah, it's like they just dipped it in halfway and left it at that. Um, this one's different. Prop 65 warning contains lead. This is a California pencil. Hayward, so you can build 100% wood. And then we have an FSC number, C006583. Has red metallic print. And we have locations in Redwood City, Salina, Pacific Grove, San Luis, Santa Maria, Santa Barbara, Goleta. I don't know. They're located all over the place. Another navy blue. Oh, this one has two spots on it there. And it's only kind of finished up here. But not this part. Oh, it's, no, it's kind of finished down here, actually, on the very end. That's weird. How does that happen? I do not know. Okay, we are down to the last layer of pencils in this box. We have Miami Masonry Cement again. I have three of these now. This one's not too bad, but it it just looks a little scuffy. I think that's the case for most. And then there's a little chunk right there that's missing. Fairbornscement.com Oh, here's another one. Fairbornscement.com This one... Yeah, it looks really bad on the back side. Yeah. Huh. I have four of those. Oh gosh, look at the print on this one. Delete, delete, lumber. The number's all messed up. The name is all messed up. Oh my goodness, that's awful. And we have a greenish, another one of these kind of greenish yellow ones. Not really any finish on it. It's very rough too. It feels, it feels rough. And it has a place on it right there. And we have another very rough orange one here. It just feels rough, like on the edges. I think they just had a bad batch of these pencils or something, and they didn't realize it before they ran it through the first coat of color. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really rough. Another orange one. This one has a little bit of a varnish on it. It doesn't look as bad as some of the others. A little scuff on it right there. Okay, overwhelmingly I have more orange. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I have 11 orange ones there. Here is another with the little FSC number on it and that little logo. And it's just a plain black pencil with nothing on it except for the company's uh, pencil information. 100% FSC C019096. So we had one of those in white and one in black. A, another one of these kind of cherry red color pencils. It's got a bad place on it right there. Nothing printed on it. Now, let, oh, let me see. I may have more red than orange. Let me see. I have 11 of those, it looks like. And my last one is another one of these professional contractor supply pencils. Um, CKU for your business. K U for your business. No, ink. Ink you for your business. I thought it was a C, but that doesn't make any F U for your business. Thank you for your business. We are here for you. We can't bring ourselves to say thank you, apparently. We have trouble with intimacy. All right. So overall, I would say we had more. I like the red barn one. That one's cool. One, two, three, four. I had 11 red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And 11 orange. I had nine of the navy blue, eight or nine of those. 
So I guess we had more of the red ones. These pencils were so much fun to look at. I love all the different designs that we have here. It's so great. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed getting to see these fun little pencils today. I just, I don't know, I've always found carpenter pencils to just be very aesthetically pleasing. There's just something about them that I, I like. I just think they're cool. I just never like the fact that you can't sharpen them in a pencil sharpener and have to get, to get my dad to use his pocket knife to do it. But he would always oblige me, so that was nice. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed all of these fun little pencils today. And thank you so much for being here. I really hope that you have a great day. And I'll see you again really soon.